Hello, my friends. I am Humberto Fernandez, your real estate broker in the Riviera Maya. And today, unfortunately, I come with some green news with uh, weather to match here in the otherwise tropical Montreal. And that is that an alleged businessman, Francisco Perez, was caught in Tulum for committing a fraud, a real estate fraud, for over 200 million pesos. And yeah, for my industry and for the Riviera Maya, which I represent, those are horrible news. And also, yes, since this event uh, hit international news, it is really just a matter of time before I start getting comments about how dangerous and uncertain it is to invest in the Riviera Maya. And so without any intention of shamelessly building my case, I would like to invite you to a little exercise of reflection. So first of all, think about the scale these news have reached. At the moment when I'm recording this video, I've seen this news in a lot of websites all around the world, sometimes in languages where the only thing that I understand is actually the name of this comeback. So the first thing I want to bring your attention to is when such an event happens, it goes big. The Riviera Maya has an outstanding reputation to keep. So trust me, when someone decides to act in this way, you will know. And in that regard, I would like to invite you to think about something. When was it the last time that you saw such news in your local newspaper? I bet you can't remember. And that is because fraudulent actions like this one are actually not that common. And the second thing I would like you to pay attention to is the following, and it's the dude got caught by the police. And that, my friends, should be a statement of how these crimes do not go unpunished. And yes, I know the Mexican police and legal systems, they have their flaws, but trust me, if you break the law, they will find you at its own Mexican pace. But yeah, they will find you. And for those who unfortunately got caught in this horrible incident, well, I, I would just like to express my sincere condolences and a little advice just to be patient because probably it's going to take a while until you see your money back again, but most likely you will see it again. I mean, just think about how this whole thing damaged the interest and reputation of a lot of uh, politicians, public figures, hotels, developers, and a lot of people. So you can have the peace of mind that the pressure that all of these people can impose collectively to the legal system is almost a guarantee that the problem will be solved. And for those of you looking into buying property in the Mexican Caribbean, don't let that a piece of bad news get in the way of your dream. You just need to seek advice from a trusted broker, just like myself, and you should be in the right path for financial freedom and to owning a little piece of paradise. So, my friends, to the next one.